right. It's certainly going to be cold for those kids as we're heading towards tomorrow. Today, don't bundle them up. They will not need all of the layers for your Monday. Today, we will see one more day of warmth before that Arctic air invades not only Kansas City, but most of the country as we are heading into your Tuesday. Take a live look outside with me. This is near Corporate Woods from our Capitol Federal Camera. You can see here the interchange 435 69. We have dry conditions as you're heading out the doorway this morning. From beginning to end for today, it will be dry, but today's going to be our day of transition, especially tonight as that cold front pushes into our area. Ahead of it, 51 degrees right now. It's certainly chilly with some strong winds out there this morning, but compared to what's on the way, man, it is going to be warm for today. 47 degrees our temperature for this morning, mild to get you started. I do think we'll see quite a bit of cloud cover filtering into our area and then thickening up as we're heading into the evening drive. I'm expecting 67 degrees for today. So anything you want to get done today, errands after work, errands with the kids after school for today, and you don't want to worry about being cold or dealing with any kind of weather issues, today will be the day to do it. Enjoy it. 67 degrees. One day, that is it for the rest of the work week. Then much colder here as we're moving into your Tuesday. Here's a look at the immediate metropolitan area from Lee Summit, Liberty, downtown Kansas City, west side of the loop. Clouds working across the area this morning. Clouds but dry conditions for all of our 44 counties right now. But look up to our north and our west through areas of the Dakotas. Widespread snow. Winter storm warnings in effect here. This extends through Minneapolis as well, where they're expecting nearly a foot of snowfall. Yes, it will certainly be a mess for travel if your plans take you anywhere up through the Great Lakes for today. And we're watching this band of snow. It's the same system that will bring us the Arctic air and the much colder conditions as we are heading through your Tuesday and the rest of the work week. Tonight, 5 o'clock, watching as those clouds increase. And then within those clouds, watching for this, a very little narrow band of moisture. And notice we've got the blue for the first time this season. Blue indicating the potential of snowflakes. And I do think we're going to see a window overnight tonight through sunrise tomorrow morning. We've got a lot of cloud cover and the potential of what you can't see here, drizzle, a little bit of isolated freezing drizzle and snowflakes mixing in. Again, most of this is going to happen overnight while you're sleeping, but something we'll closely monitor as we're heading towards your Tuesday morning drive. I think the bigger story, the red light, is going to get your attention with the Arctic airs. We're heading towards tomorrow. I expect temperatures by this time tomorrow morning to be 40 degrees cold. Colder than we have right now. High temperatures only in the 30s as we're heading towards tomorrow. And this cold air will be dramatic because look at how long it's going to last. It's going to feel more like January for our area than what you would typically expect for November. Highs in the 30s all the way through the weekend. Overnight lows in the teens. By Wednesday, we may be lucky to hit a high of 30 degrees during the afternoon. Then watching out for another quick brush of winter weather, the potential of light snow, rain and snow. Know here as we're heading towards Saturday, so something we'll keep a very close eye on in between now and then, Donna. Over to you.